Hi folks, this is the activity in the afternoon lab on May 17. Uh, it's from a previous uh, midterm, uh, midterm and you're given a geometry like that and some information about the loading and everything. But uh, you're told to, to use the most appropriate elements, so please don't use solid elements here. These have to be done with beam elements because of the nature of the, the way this problem is posed and we have discussed it in class. And also use as many planes of symmetry. Now notice that the top points A and E are clamped and we have, let's see what the loading is. It says the, uh, yeah, the point, the point C, this point C, is given a downward displacement of 0 0.001. Uh, yeah. So that being the case, uh, you have uh, only one plane of symmetry, and that is XZ. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to use, the, you, you have to use uh, the one plane of symmetry, or the, there, is, uh, there is a marked deduction, as you can see. Uh, so uh, I'm going to I'm going to do the left side, and for doing that, I'm going to create. Uh, this is on purpose. Uh, I'm going to create a three points: point A, B, and C. Between A and B, uh, I will make a, a line, and between B and C, I will make a uh, a circle. Now the alternative is to sketch to have a sketch which has A, B in it. I have another sketch which has BC in it. Obviously, you cannot put them in the same sketch because this is a, a three-dimensional uh, sketch and therefore three-dimensional geometry. And therefore, you can do it with two sketches or the wireframe. And I'm going to go the second route. In other words, just so that you see something different, uh, I, I will do it that way. So we have the coordinates. These are important. So the coordinates of A, uh, 0, minus 10, and 20. These are inches. And the uh, coordinate of B is uh, 220 minus 10 and 0. And coordinate of C is 30, 0, 0. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we go here, start with the part file. And immediately save this thing, file, save management. Save as one level up. I'll make a new folder and I'll call this thing uh, afternoon lab activity. On May 17. Okay, so everything is going to go in there. So uh, in the wireframe and surface design, I'm going to create three points. And the three points here is the way you create points. You double click on it. Uh, one of them, that point A0 minus 10. The units are already in inches and 20. Yep, that's the first point. This is point A. The point B has coordinate 20 minus 10 and 0. So this is going to be 20 minus 10 and 0. Yep. And point C is going to have 30, 0, 0. 30, 0, and 0. And cancel. So there should be three points here. Maybe I could have called it point A, B, and C, but I didn't. That's okay. Now, where are they? Let's fit them. We're going to find them right there. So uh, I'm going to make a line between this point and that point. That's the slanted line. And then I'm going to make a circle but for the center. For the circle, I click on the circle. The only thing is that the start and the end points are not correct. So let me make this thing 90, just like this. And I make this thing, uh, let me see if, if oops, this is the end point. Uh, Actually, this is uh, the start of the start of it is minus ninety. Let's see, that's good, and the end point is zero. There, that's good. So this is how I did it. Please go ahead and do it any way you want. You need to create uh, this geometry. 
you need to create this geometry okay very good let's go ahead here now uh, save this thing so file save management save as uh, oh we don't really did that so i must well just uh, cancel that just click on the floppy and you'll do it okay uh, we're going to make this thing out of steel but let me join these two also the, these two curves i'm going to join this 3d curve and this 3d curve i'm going to join okay these points i can hide them i don't need any orientation point i'm going to hide these things so that they won't be in my way uh, let's make this thing out of steel so uh, apply material uh, metal steel on that part and then we say okay we're done we go we're going to go to now we're going to go to uh, analysis and simulation generative structure analysis because there is no three-dimensional object this will not be meshed automatically you have to do it yourself so you click on the uh, you click on the beam beam measure you select that now why don't i make these things you know 0.5 is fine that, that's fine maybe that's an overkill but that's okay or maybe i should make it one that's fine and you can look at the mesh if you want right click mesh visualization and the mesh uh, these are linear elements that have been created and because i joined them you don't have a discontinuity here at the juncture you have the same node see that node two from this side no two from that side because I joined them. So deactivate this plot. Deactivate it. Now uh, notice that these have different uh, cross sections. So the cross section of this is 0 0.75 and this one is 0 0.5. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put 0 0.75 of everything and then I'm going to change this thing to 0 0.5. Okay. So uh, let's do that. Uh, 1D property on this piece everything is going to be cylindrical everything is going to be 0 0.75 okay and i can close this because uh, this is circular and then i go to the tree put the cursor to the right click local 1d property and you select this piece and you say okay this was not actually 0 0.75 so click on the wrench it's 0 0.5 Now you can see that this is a little bit bigger than that. This is the original one that I put, but I changed this piece so that the cross section is 0.5. Very good. Okay, what, what, what else do we know? Now, first of all, let me hide, uh, hide this because I want to put symmetry condition on this point. Now that point, is in the exit plane so no displacement in y rotations opposite so i'm going to say user define user define this point is in the exit plane of symmetry no displacement in y rotations exactly the opposite and this is the symmetry restraint okay very good and then i want to push this thing down oh by the way this top point is clamped i forgot let me go clamp that. Doesn't matter, I can do it at the end. Okay, now I want to push this down by some amount. So first I'm going to hide this so that I can see it better and click on the user define. First you have to push it down by zero amount. That's the way Katia is written. Zero in the direction three. And then you can use the enforced displacement here to change that to the number that you want, which is minus 0.001 as described in the prop that's uh, pretty much it so uh, we're going to uh, save the analysis so file save management the analysis must be saved in there and this is the afternoon lab activity on may 17. very good and we're going to run it so we didn't forget anything nothing fancy is going to happen this is just going to go down Let's look at the displacement so that we can see it better and change this into ISO, average ISO. And look at look at what happens if you animate this thing, this just this thing just goes down and stays in the exit plane. Good. Now, uh, being from a test, you were asked to do something else, find the total force needed to cause the deformation that I mentioned. Okay. 
So what you need to do is you, uh, let me first deactivate that. I don't need it, so let me deactivate it. So what you do is you go to the bottom of the tree, sensor, right click, and then select reaction sensor. And from the reaction sensor for the support, you select this one. I should have called this thing the pushing down so that it was easier to identify, but that's okay. You select this and then you say uh, update. So it says minus point, uh, uh, 0.476 pounds. Now, the number, as far as the force goes, the number that goes into this box, which is your answer sheet, on the test, you have to, the number that goes in here, you have to take this and you multiply it by two. So the number that goes in that box is not minus 0 0.476, it's two times minus 0 0.476 pounds, okay? Now, the other thing is that make sure you don't cancel that, you say okay, because then there is a record of it. Once you save it, there is a record of it where you got that number. Okay, so even though you may write, write the correct number there, if there is no record of it in your tree, I will deduct points because uh, I don't know where you got it from. All right. That's uh, pretty much it. Uh, so that takes care of this uh, afternoon video solution.